Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be learning how to create a stainless steel bathroom sink. What you see here is how the end result will look. Okay, let's take it from the top. I'm going to begin by inserting a sketch, and it'll be on the top plane. Now let's create an ellipse. And one more point for the minor axis. Let's apply dimensions and relations. Here's a center line. Right click, select. Smart dimension. Let's start with a minor axis. 310 millimeters. Now let's do the major axis. I'll make it 430 millimeters. And let's zoom to fit. Exit the sketch. Now we'll insert a plane. Insert, reference geometry, plane. We're going to offset it by 50 millimeters. Check reverse direction and click OK. And let's create a sketch on our new plane. Take a normal two view. Activate the spline tool. Right click and select to end the spline. Now let's shift select these two points and add a vertical relation. Now I'm going to shift select this curve and this point and add a pierce relation. Same on the other side, the curve and this point and add a pierce relation. And let's add dimensions. This distance will be 140 millimeters, except and the sketch is fully defined. So let's exit. Now we're going to create a sketch on the right plane. Let's take a normal two view. Once again, I'll use the spline tool. And right click and select to end the spline. Now let's select my curve in this point at a pierce relation. Same on the other side. Pierce relation. The point that I'm currently mousing over will be the lowest point of the sink, and that's where I'm going to attach the drain pipe. However, as you can see, there's a point that's lower on my spline. So let's right click and insert a spline point. I'll drop it about here, then right click and select to exit this tool. Let's drag and position the point about here. Notice how this area is bulging outside of the sink. We're going to need to fix this. Let's add a construction line. Right click, select. Select the line and the spline. Let's add a tangent relation and click OK. Lastly, let's apply dimensions. Make this distance 140 millimeters, OK. And let's accept the default value for this distance, OK. Same for the next dimension, OK. And we have a fully defined sketch. Let's exit the sketch. Take an isometric view. Let's hide plane 1. Now activate the Filled Surface tool. Select this profile. For our constraint curve, let's select this curve here. Here's a preview and this curve. Let's click OK. Here is the sink body. At this point, we're going to need to create the drain pipe. Let's insert a plane, offset it from the top plane by 160 millimeters. Check reverse direction and click OK. Right click, insert sketch on our new plane. Take a normal two view. Let's make sketches two and three visible under surface fill one. And I'm going to create a circle about here. Let's dimension the circle. Give it a 30 millimeter diameter. OK. Now we'll grab the center of the circle and snap it to our drain pipe point. Exit the sketch. Take an isometric view. Activate the extruded surface tool. Let's do a 30 millimeter blind extrusion. OK. Now let's activate the trim tool and trim our surfaces. We'll use the mutual trim type. Let's select this surface and this one. Under selections to keep, we'll take this one and this one. Click OK. Let's hide sketches three and two under surface fill one. 
and we'll take an isometric view. Let's create another reference plane. Insert, reference geometry, plane. We'll offset at 170 millimeters from the top plane. Check reverse direction and click OK. Let's hide plane two. And now let's create a sketch. We're building the sink base now. Let's take a normal two view. First, let's place a point at the center of this circle. Touch the edge of the circle and then place the point at the center. I'm going to create two construction lines. The first will be vertical, right click select, and the second will be horizontal. Right click, select. Shift select this line and the point and add a midpoint relation. Now let's shift select our vertical line and the center point and add a coincident relation and click OK. Now let's add some dimensions. This will be 200 millimeters. OK, and let's hide our relations view, select sketch relations. This distance will be 50 millimeters. OK. And lastly, this distance is going to be 60 millimeters. OK. Now let's use the spline tool to create a profile. We close our spline, right click and select. The sketch is fully defined, so let's exit. Isometric view, extruded surface tool. The end condition will be up to surface. I'll select this surface and click OK. Right click, let's hide plane three. And here is our bathroom sink. This concludes this exercise.